hello dear friends and students welcome to our next tutorial in this tutorial we will delete one item from our list of students we will create a query in our database class and then run it in our adopter class let me start it first of all we will create a delete query app database class here make a method below it public void delete single item write here your query sqlite database dot delete select this one table name where clause and string arguments table name is students and where clause is column email give here this condition new string select this one and pass here email so write this email here string email and alt plus enter here like this one and close it now we will call this method in our adopter class here first of all open your database by making its subject pass context here app database dot open and app database dot close write here this delete method app database dot delete single item you have to pass your email here string email before deleting you should make an alert dialog to warn your user now I will run it in my emulator let's see what's happening now I click on this Hamza Khalid and press unfortunately our app has crashed here is an error we see that we are giving here some error 
we have to pass it here string email and alt plus enter we have to pass here some string value of email right here like this string dot value of email now we run it again in our emulator and let's see what's happening delete this old locket from here click on Hamza Khalid Hamza Khalid deleted we refresh it from here Hamza Khalid has been deleted from list and now we press Amin Khalid Amin Khalid also deleted from our list Now our list is not being automatically refreshed we write some code for it go to your adopter class we will write here some code to refresh our list automatically data dot remove at position this and notify item has removed select from here item removed this one at position this now we will run it again and see what's happening now click on Osama yes we have successfully refreshed our list and now I will delete anik press on it oh it has crashed let's we see what's happening here index out of boundary exception now we can handle list by try catch exception write this code here and try catch and run it again delete this locket from here and see what's happening now it's showing no data on one click it has deleted our data now we can add data again for this purpose we will change its order from manifest in last tutorial I have changed it right here main activity and above change it to splash screen and run it again to add more data
press register button and first of all select any image from here press this icon image and go to your gallery and select any image from here you can select any image like this one write here any name and email and any password write here phone number and finally its address any address and press register press register button register successful you can change this image select another image from here select this one and change name from here Jahanzeb and register it now you can go to your register screen and you can launch your main activity from there go here to your register screen open your register screen this one and here after inserting your data you have to go to your main activity start activity activity new intent new intent context and then to your main activity dot class and run it from here register another student select image and select an image from here write any name here Fazan and its email any email and any password and any phone number any address just enter register it's showing many pictures many data here as you can see I have put no name on this frog image its general name ABC no, I will delete it. This has deleted. Also deleted. Also deleted. 
also deleted also deleted also deleted also deleted this one and remaining this one as you are looking that it is not uh, uh, deleting the exact image why is this happening now we will go I have checked uh, my code uh, there is uh, no issue but I I want to show you something else run it again and give unique email IDs uh, because we are deleting on the basis of our email we have ordered all email similar that's why is it was showing randomly deleting items uh, I have made uh, some changes in our code we were getting a wrong position here I have uh, corrected it uh, look here int position holder dot get adopter position this will give us exact position we will pass this uh, position to our this method data dot remove position and notify item removed and pass it this position in this way correct uh, item will be removed let me add some record and then we see what is happen happening add some record here give it some name Adil and email Adil and register it one record added add some other record change its image and change its name Fazan Fazan and its email like this one and register it no register another record change its name from here Shahid and its email s h a h i d change its image from here this one and register it successfully registered three students add one other record as per and its email now register it you can change its image from here and register it we have these four records as you are looking I will delete Shahid Shahid has been removed from this list now I will delete Fezan Fezan also deleted from this list and now I delete Asfar Asfar also deleted from this list and finally I delete Adil Adil also deleted from this list now as you are looking our delete function is working uh, very very nice and uh, there is no issue or position thank you for watching my this tutorial if you like this video please don't forget this video to share with your friends thanks again take care